How you doing, fight fans? EJ Boxing live here in Moscow, Russia, for this cruiserweight championship bout. Um, in Moscow, Russia. So we'll let, let MC say his thing, and then I'm gonna jump in. EJ Boxing live here in Moscow, Russia. So he's gonna introduce the fighters. <laughs> Enzo Mekanaki, 40 wins, 7 losses, 32 KOs, 35 years old. Former WBO Cruiserweight Champion of the World. And his professional record, 47 bouts, 40 victories, including 32 wins by way of knockout and 7 defeats. Dame Igaspada, British Champion Mira WBO of Teron Tijalan Desi. Yeah, former WBO Cruiserweight Champion. WBO Cruiserweight Champion of the World. Yep. Swansea in Wales. Please welcome Elsa. Big Mac. Big Mac. McInerney. So Enzo come over from uh, Wales like Joe Kazagi did. Try and upset the card. Roy Jones, 46 years old now. And this is the cruiserweight division. Robert Jones, 5 for 11. That's 5 for 11. Pensacola, Florida. A way of Russia. By way of Russia. Wow. This bout scheduled for 10 rounds in the cruiserweight division. Yep. Yep. By way of Russia. This is a real test for Roy Jones. Enzo can punch, man. Enzo is, is a puncher. Yeah, he's been knocked down a lot of times over McKenzie, um, knocked him. Um, a loads of people, Olaf Alabi, he knocked them out, David Hay, but they're all big punchers in the cruiserweight division. Roy Jones mainly been fighting guys that like heavyweight, uh, Courtney Fry and people like them. So this is a real test for Roy Jones and his first fight as a native Russian. That's the referee, uh, Basba, um, saying he's um, telling them instructions. So they've gone back to the corners. And I can tell you what, this is the first time I'm watching the EJ Boxing Live schedule for 10 rounds in Moscow, Russia. Yeah, I'm not there, but still. Yeah, like, that's where the fight is being held. And, um, and let's see how this fight's going to go on, man. Okay. In the goal, Barbas. Round one. Let's see how this fight's going to go. So Enzo's popping out. Uh, Enzo's popping out. This is an orthodox fighter. Popping out his, his lead jab. Roy Jones circling around like he normally does with his hands up. Roy Jones can fight orthodox southpaw. How you want it, he can fight. Give it to you. Let's see how this going to go, man. Enzo, the trainer only came in a couple of days ago. He didn't come in the start of the week. Enzo's been over. But Enzo's a really big puncher. He doesn't mind. He, that he went against Jurgen Brenner uh, in the light heavyweight division. And uh, he lost that close. He lost that fight. He's brave in that in the performance, though. So, um, but against Roy Jones, we see what Roy Jones has got left, man. I mean, when Roy Jones went against John Maurice, 
he was able to use his fit. But then Roy Jones was undefeated this time. This is Roy Jones has been knocked out numerous times now. Um, I think the last time he got knocked out was um, against uh, yeah a, a Russian actually, a fellow Russian. I think it was um, Dennis Leverbed stopped him, and also got stopped by the Aussie guy in it, Danny Green as well. Tarbar knocked him out, and Glenn Johnson's knocked him out. So he's been knocked out a couple of times. as Roy Jones. Referee says break. Roy Jones leading with his left hook. That's Roy Jones's best punch. He's been knocking out a lot of guys at this. There's a little look. Right? Enzo's just keeping his hands up, being smart. Just keeping Roy at the end of his jab. Roy Jones. Roy Jones going to the body. Good body shot by Roy Jones. Enzo hits his own body shot. Good combination. Enzo's answering back. Good uppercut by Jones. Again, good right hook. Roy Jones going to the body. Beautiful shots by Roy, man. Some really good uh, body shots. Good boy. Oh, 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 Enzo here, Roy Jones with a big right. Roy Jones uh, putting the showmanship on this right there. And like he didn't hurt him, but that was a big right by Enzo. Enzo still establishing his jab. That's what Enzo wants to do. He wants to drive Roy back to the ropes and try to get his combinations back. Roy Jones wants to come off the ropes. He wants to spin off left or right. And Roy Jones goes to the ropes. Enzo throws a left hook. Roy Jones blocks that. Look at that good body shot by Enzo. Roy Jones lands his own body shot. This is quite competitive actually in the first round. The body shots. Enzo lands an uppercut. Referee is telling him, warning him to keep the punches up. And here under 36 seconds in the first round. I don't know who it's, it's quite even. I don't know who you're gonna score the fight around to. It's quite even to me. Roy Jones throws a combination, just misses the slightly there. Left hook by Jones. Enzo here's another left jab. Enzo following. Even round actually. You see, it's not much in it. Might come down to the last 10 seconds to see who won the round. Enzo's all right though. He's, he's in there. I think Roy probably for more uh, landed probably a bit, just slightly a bit more than Enzo. So I give the round to Jones. I got Jones in that first round. How you guys scored the round? Here in Moscow, Russia, EJ Boxing live covering this cruiserweight fight. Scheduled for 10 rounds um, in the cruiserweight division. Uh, if Roy Jones was to get past this fight here, there's some meaningful names for him. Um, uh, maybe I, I actually interviewed Tony Bellew about this fight. And Tony Bellew said, nah, he, he ain't looking to fight no legends. Look at that. There's the bodywork by Jones. And I think Jones probably got the first round. Jones does, even though Jones is, is, is way advanced in his age, he doesn't really give up that many rounds, man. Look at that. See? Oh, that punch actually missed him. Oh, that's why. Oh, okay. So that punch actually missed him. It's good defense there. Look at this. Look at that. Just slightly missed him and Roy moved out of the way. And there's Roy with showboating in the corner. I'm not too sure about his corner people. And that's, um, uh, what's this guy's name? Gary. Is it Gary? I, I, I think I usually know his name, actually. The cornerman. It's quite a big, big punch for himself. He went against uh, the middleweight champion at the time. What's the game again? The ghost. The one who Hopkins beat. It doesn't matter anyway. It'll come to me. Public Kelly Public. He went against him. Yeah, he lost against Kelly Public. But anyway, uh, we're here in the second round. And Roy Jones still, I gave Roy Jones that round this there. Enzo still established. Enzo, Enzo's got real power. You know what I'm saying? He's got real, real hard power. Trust me. And uh, Roy needs to be careful of that, man. He's, do you know what I mean? Like, he's be careful. Like, he, he keep on the move and keep, keep using his boxing. Roy Jones is a much more better boxer than Enzo. And he's fast, probably fast. Even at his vast age, he's still probably faster. But the key thing here is, can Roy Jones hurt Enzo to get Enzo's respect? To keep Enzo off. And if he can't do that, then Enzo can just walk straight through Roy's punches. Um, and also... Can Roy keep up the pace? Endo's gonna set a good pace. He's much younger than him. He's 35. And, uh, 10 years, 10 years difference. They Roy, a beautiful lead right by Roy. This is what I'm saying about Roy's in the boxing style. He catches him, but Enzo, if Enzo starts landing his punches, this is what he wants to do. Just keep Enzo. Look at it. He's throwing late lead left hooks. Yeah, Roy can throw punches, man. Definitely, you know. But you know, it's it's. If he can keep up, there's Enzo working the body. And the reason why he's working the body is trying to keep Roy Jones uh, there. So if he works the body, Roy Jones' his stamina work, breaks down his stamina. It's probably smart by Enzo to do that. Gary Lockett. That's the name is in his corner. Gary Lockett. I knew it would come to me. That's a low blow by Jones. Enzo says, okay. Yeah, so Gary Lockett, he went against Cali Public. And, and I think after that, he retired. And um, in the middleweight division, Gary Lockett could hit hard himself. 
Um, Enzo also used to used to be in uh, Joe Kawasaki's camp with um, his dad over there. And um, yeah, so and, he, and obviously we know Joe Kawasaki beat Roy Jones on points, and uh, Roy Jones was probably better then than he is now. Oh, big right hand by Enzo throws Roy Bros back to the ropes, and that was a big punch there. I'm not too sure though from with this angle here. We have to see in slow mo, but that was a powerful punch there. Drove Roy right back, and this is what I was trying to say about the power of Enzo, man. Enzo can hit, man. He can really hit, boy. He went against a guy called Bruce Scott in a, I think it was a British, British uh, championship bout. And I tell you what, Bruce Scott can punch and they went to war and Enzo won the shootout in that one. Enzo can hit. He beat other guys, um, Wayne Braithwaite as well. He's another world guy, you know about Wayne Braithwaite. Um, he beat him. Double, former WBC champion, he's beat him as well. But Enzo... Like Enzo, when he went Dave, Dave, uh, when he get David Hay, that's when he came out short and he getting knocked down a couple of times. But he's definitely in the cruiserweight liver. He's just, he's well, he's not, he's he's more, he's world class though because he's been a world champion. But he's it's really a good test for Roy. If Roy can beat him, then he definitely got good uppercut by Jones. Another got good combination. That's Jones' round, you know. Enzo did, hey, Enzo did well though. Enzo did well though. Enzo did well. I'm not gonna lie, he done, he done pretty well. It wasn't like all, all Roy's way, but definitely the power showed Enzo when he drove back to the round. We're gonna see a replay on that. And that's the second round there. And Roy Jones in the corner, breathing a bit hard. Well, it's not, hey, Enzo said, there we go. There's the punch, they drove him back to the rope, I was talking about. And the left hook to the body. And then Roy Jones lands his own body shot. There you go, that's the right hand there, you see? And look, Enzo's just working him there and he's keeping him at a range. And I tell you what, man, we're gonna be careful, man. Look at that. Left hook there to the body. Right. Ah, another left hook to the head. See, the reflexes ain't there where it used to be, man. You know what I'm saying? Enzo's a dangerous dude. So I gave it, I gave it around to Jones. Um, how do you guys score it? Am I being biased? Let me know though in the comment section underneath. Um, actually, I'm probably gonna download this up to um, Daily Motion, actually, probably. So I'll leave a link on YouTube where you can find the fight. So I don't get my channel struck. But Okay, round three in Moscow, in Russia. Roy Jones Jr., Enzo Makanaki. Roy Jones, former, what's it, four-weight champion, middleweight, super middleweight, um, light heavyweight, and heavyweight. Enzo Makanaki, former WBO cruiserweight champion. Different levels, definitely. I mean, if they met when Roy Jones was younger, it would have been a different fight, but I still think, if they, even if they met when they younger, Roy would have been quicker, but Enzo still could hit, man. Enzo could still hit. That's one something you can't take away from. Yeah, Enzo's got a bad chin, but he, you know, in the cruiserweight division, it's just under the heavyweight. Everyone can hit. Look at that. Enzo can still throw some bumps. There's one thing about punches. They never use their power. That's something that doesn't go away. If anything, the power probably gets harder. They might, other things might array, but a puncher will always be a puncher. And a boxer, the thing about boxers, their reflexes and defensive style. Reflex, the thing about Ray, Ray's style is reflexes. He's got good technical styles, he has, but he usually stars his reflex, as you can see. Yeah, he's still got good reflexes but the thing is yeah I, I was and like i alluded to earlier on can he keep enzo off and get enzo's respect so enzo can't just walk forward like what enzo's doing here whoa beautiful le uh, left took to the body by enzo and that was powerful man and roy jones's hands down right there and you can see that punch might hurt man and roy jones has put his hands down definitely man enzo's probably gonna come over the top in a minute here we go. enzo working the jab and he definitely, it seems like Enzo definitely is retaining his power. And uh, Roy Jones looks like, to me, like he, he felt that. And Enzo's working the combinations there. A four-punch combination there. And Roy Jones on the ropes where he doesn't want to be. And then many times, yeah, like, fighters against the ropes. Especially guys who are boxers. They need to be in the center of the ring. And they need to be dictating the pace. You don't want to be against the ropes against, uh, against someone like Enzo. It's almost like working the, 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 the heavy bag. And this is where he doesn't want to be. And that, this is, for me, yeah, Enzo's winning this round here, man. Here we go, Enzo. See, you can hear he just works like he's just working the heavy bag, and see what he's doing. He's not the committing the standing in there. He's moving back into his own range, so he's keeping Roy at the end of his at the end of his range, so he can work his. Oh my gosh, what a right hand he threw! And I tell you, that got Roy off the ropes there, man. And Enzo means business, man. 
He definitely means business. He's going, he's stepping in with his punches and putting some venom behind this. This is the first time I'm watching this, so don't get in mind that I haven't watched it before. I haven't seen this fight, bro. This is the first time I first take on watching this fight here. Now, I can tell you what, right now, Roy Jones needs to put something on Enzo to get his respect. Enzo shakes out his left hand there as he keeps the range, keeps his range, and he's setting Roy up there. Look at that left hook to the body. And Roy Jones, noble, his power is not really hurting. As the crowd is silent here in Moscow, Russia, as they tap, they tap the apron, 10 seconds left in the, I believe this is the, is this the third round? But I'll tell you what man, that was the Enzo round man, I think it's the third round, that's the Enzo round, I can read the first two. That third round there, that's Enzo's round man, for real that's Enzo's round, it don't look good for Roy, there's 10 rounds man, in the corner man, that was a, yeah he some big body shots. Sold you, yeah you see. He's telling the corner, he's, he's either angry with the corner about trying to pull his stomach in. Well, that's the thing about Roy, man. You got, you know what I mean? Owen Berg was your corner before. And there's little big exchanges right there. Roy Jones telling the corner what to do. Yeah, I mean, Roy Jones is a, a number one top analyst, yeah, in Hate for HBO. Down there with Max Kellerman and, and Jim Lantley. You gotta kind of wonder what's he doing here, still fighting at the age. But Roy Jones has goals, as everyone has in life, and he wants to achieve to be a cruiserweight champion. That's the one thing he wanted to do. Now, when he was a light heavyweight, he could have went to cruiserweight, but he skipped the division trying to impress. But, hey, that's how Roy Jones does his thing. He does, Roy Jones does what Roy Jones does. Round four, man, of the cruiserweight division, 10 rounds. I'm EJ Boxing live here. And Enzo just won the last round for me. How'd you guys score it, man? Two to one. Boy, you got to do something. And he's gone back to the ropes again. And he doesn't want to really be there, in my opinion. Enzo's still working off the jab here. Walking Ray Jones. Ray Jones' work combination is back against the ropes. And that's because Enzo has cut the ring off. Where Roy Jones is forced against the rope. And look at that. Little combinations. Shoe shine punches there. Nothing notable. Nothing hurt. So the last one. I think the last shot was the right hand to the body. Look at that left. Took right underneath, underneath the elbow. Again. And he's, he's doing the right thing too. If you, you find it gets an older fire. Work the body. Work the body. And then because someone like Roy Jones who uses his legs. You need to keep him there. Stagnant. And that's what you're trying to do. And Enzo's doing the right thing. Game plan. Oh my gosh. Look at that right hand by Enzo. Enzo. Oh. Enzo's got confidence now. And everything's landing for Enzo and he's going to work on Jones and I can tell you what right now Jones can't be taking much more of these punches here he knows he's in a fight right now boy the 46 year old Jones is not the same fight he was 20 years ago we had reflexes you know when he got, I saw him against David Telesco back in 2000, that was almost, that was almost 15 years ago where he's, he's lightning speed and he can hit and just dictate and not get hit. I mean, the art of boxing, and Ray Jones used to show it, yeah, is hit and not get hit. Right here, he's hit. He's getting hit right there. Oh, he went down. He's gone down. The referee's kind of knocked down. He's there. The referee's kind of knocked down. He went down with the right hook. He's hurt, man. Oh. Referee's asking, oh my gosh. And the fight continues. Left took by Jones. Uppercut by, by, by uh, Enzo. And the right hand runs against the rope. And he's like in trouble. Left hooks. Right. Oh! Down goes Jones. And the fight is over. Oh my days. What a devastating right hand. And Enzo goes in his corner and prays to God. Oh, look at this, man. Oh, my God. And you can see it. And the whole crowd is silent completely as Roy Jones is still moving around. Oh, my days. And I think that might be the end of Roy Jones' career. And what a career it's been. But I think that might be it. And you know what? You stay in the game longer and these things happen. It happened to Vander Holyfield, happened to Mike Tyson, happened to Joe Lewis. And it happened to many of the great fighters if you stay in the game. So you're, he's no doubt Roy Jones is a great fighter. But it's a different day. And Enzo, who's really and truly, even though the world champion, not really in Roy Jones' class, has caught Roy Jones at the turn. Look at the uppercut. And the left hook here to boot. And another one, uppercut. And he's just all, all, all Enzo. And that's it. The big right hand. Bogabaja. And down goes Jones. And I'll tell you what, that might be the end of the historic career of Ray Jones Jr. We're seeing the end of it. Look at this. Almost like Joy, uh, George, George Foreman against Ali in the Rumble in the Jungle, the way he went down. That's actually the first knockdown, right? I think this might be Look at the uppercut. Oh, my brutal. And Ray Jones can't even cover. Look at his right hand. And he can't, yeah, he went down like George Foreman. And then I was looking at him like Ali did. And you see him just drop down. Down goes Jones. 
And I tell you what, Enzo's going over in his corner now to see if Jones is okay. The crowd are clapping and that, but that was devastating, man. He still don't know where he is, man. Yeah, Enzo showing respect, man. Oh my gosh. I'm not, he's it, just one of them things in boxing, you know. He tried, if he beat Enzo, it would have been a good castle because Enzo is a very hard player, it's a very hard test, but it wasn't to be, man. And you gotta think this is the end of it because Enzo really and is not even one of the hardest punches in the cruiserweight. Over Vlabi's there, he's not even a world champion. Some other guys are harder, fresher. It's just timing, you know, he's just too old and I think you need to call it a day. You need to sit down, you know, take a rest like Kobe Bryant. And right now, well, you know, you ain't got it no more, man. You ain't got it no more, you know. They're a good run, good stretch. And there's Enzo over there with uh, Thingy Warren, one of the Warren brothers. And they promoted it. Box Nation, Gary Lockett over there. Yeah, they could see it coming, man. I mean, they're not overly excited about it. They did, they did what they had to do, you know. He, Enzo was the opponent. And he came over and done the job. Oh gosh, hey man, that, that, he stayed in boxing long enough. I was waiting for the martial and ceremonies to say his piece. I say my piece, and then, and that's that, man. But that's what happens in boxing, man. And they got Roy with the the, the mask to give him oxygen as well. Wow, man. Wow, that's it, man. It's the end of his career. He's going over. Give Enzo a hug. You know, I wish Enzo the best than that. See, Enzo does. And Enzo's got him on his career. It's like many guys when they had Roy, um, Sugar Ray Robinson on their on their resume, on their resume. Now, en Enzo, that's cool, man. You know, that's two Welsh guys that beat you, Roy Jones, Enzo Macan, uh, Joe Calzaghi, and now Enzo Macanegi. You know what I'm saying? So that's how it goes, man. That's 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 how it is. Boxing. That's how boxing is. It's then they get look, uh, he needs war and stuff like that. Yeah, just talking about him. Yeah, man. So really, I mean, when they picked Enzo, I was like, whoa. You know, when they, I was like, whoa, Enzo's a real test. Enzo could really hit, man. Enzo can really punch, man. You know? It's a real tough test for him. And this is a Roy Jones promotion as well. It's his first promotion, his first fighting as a Russian citizen. Yeah, he's, look, he really doesn't even remember. So they're, they're actually telling him what happened. Man, oh man, oh man. All of his camp is upset, man. They're telling them there's a little young boy Roy Jones came out with one of Roy Jones fans. But that's what happens, man. It's a little girl, I think. Yeah, they're calling him over. Yeah, man. Good punch, you see. Yeah, alright, let's just go to the master ceremonies. Ladies and gentlemen, we have a time. One minute and 59 seconds of round number four. Победу нокаута одержал Энтио Пинер. Пай нокаут! Энзо! Yeah, Big Mac. Mega Nagy. Yeah, Энзо Big Mac. One of men, one knife. Hey, man. That's, that's, that's how it goes. Yeah, the frowns, hey man, we ain't gonna lose no fans, man. He's a Hall of Famer, no doubt. No doubt, Roy Jones still a Hall of Famer, but boy, it's just, just one of them things there, innit? Hey man, oh man, so boy, it's, uh, I don't know what to say, but so that's the end of Roy Jones' career. Hopefully, maybe he'll get back in the ring again, I don't know, but I can tell you for now, man, Enzo, uh, see what Enzo does, and um, it's, it's just one of them things. Anyway, I'm EJ Boxing Live. And I'll catch you another one. Peace. DJ Boxing Live here. DJ Boxing Live here. What's the devil's name, man? What's the devil's The fat bump the bullet is coming. No, this is Chris Caban, chilling with my man, DJ Boxing Live. One of the hottest, dopest boxing channels on YouTube. Check him out. He was uh, the number 10 rating contender, and he had never been knocked down. And Sonny destroyed his mouth. But Thea lost most of his teeth, basically with one or two left hooks. Oh, shit, boy. What was look at kids sleeping like Manny Pacquiao?
Pacquiao. EJ Boxing Live here. EJ Boxing Live here.